Hello, Aries. So the center of this reading is a deceitful ending. And you or a boss, public figure, or CEO is defensive. This is a third party Aquarian. I'm seeing several references to that. You could have reunited and taken a leap of faith, but an Aquarian was nostalgic about a hidden leap of faith, potentially with a Taurus. Taurus got wish fulfillment, but they had anxiety about a deceitful ending that involved this Aquarian. The Aquarian was full of anxiety about being honest. You, or another Aries, was left out in the cold and was overwhelmed and in a mental prison about a choice to bring about a tower moment. So a Scorpio is defensive about waiting on a Libra. Libra either told the truth or got a new beginning. And so you or a boss, public figure, CEO, or even a father became defensive about a work situation. This person was also walking on eggshells about a partnership, but they could have had restored hope because the Aquarian was walking on eggshells about making a final decision. Interesting. So I guess um, I will continue this on as I've done in the other readings. This particular situation has been going on for a couple of years. And you would think by now that we would have learned to just openly communicate, tell the truth, get it over with, and let bygones be bygones, just do it, right? It's going to bust open one way or another. And that's why I'm trying to tell people the old cliche of the past is the past is not the truth. The lessons that we don't learn from, that we don't make right, follow us into the future. And each time they get stronger and stronger and more dire consequences. That's why it is so very important to look at your surroundings. If you see this behavior going on, it's time to speak up. It's time to do something about it. It's time to have a new story. We can't stay stuck in 2017 for eternity. So, if you want a new life, if you want to feel happy, if you don't want to feel stuck, if you don't want to constantly be getting backstabbed, clear the slate. Bye, guys.